In the diagram below of circle O, diameter AB is parallel to chord CD. So AB is parallel to CD. If the measure of arc CD equals 70 degrees, what is the measure of AC? So that arc, that 70 degrees is this. This is CD. That's 70 degrees. And they want to know the measure of AC, which is this arc. So that's what we want to know. We'll call that X. So there's a rule that if you have two parallel chords in a circle, that the arcs that they intercept, or the arcs that are between them, must be the same. So if this is X, if AC is X, then DB must also be X. They must be equal. And they look equal too, right? If these two chords are parallel, it looks like the arcs in between them would be equal. Um, but how do we find out exactly what AC um, we're looking for measure of arc AC. How do we find out exactly what that is? Well, think about chord AB. AB isn't just any chord, it's the diameter. It passes through the center. So the arc that is intercepted by a diameter is half the circle, right? So that arc, that whole arc from A past C past D all the way back around to B is 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, that whole arc is made up of x plus 70 plus x. So I'll say 2x plus 70. And then we can just solve for x. Subtract 70 from both sides. 110 equals 2x. And then divide by 2 on both sides. x equals 55. So the measure of arc AC equals 55 degrees. And the best choice is 3.